Good morning. Uh, it's a rarity here. We get November Alberta golf. So out here at Silverwing, uh, one of the windmill owned courses. 27 holes, we're on temporary greens. But it's about six degrees Celsius and we got the whole course to ourselves. So time to test some golf balls. All right, so a couple disclaimers. I'm not my golf spy. I'm actually a lot more positive and nice than him. But this is not going to be a you know a technical scientific test. You know, golf isn't played in a laboratory. We're not using a microscope here, but we do have have some variables. So like I said, it's about seven degrees. Um, what else is there? I'm rusty. I haven't played in a month. I worked last night at the fire hall, so my brain function is on level potato. And the ground's hard, so we're not gonna get spin, but let's just, let's just go with it. All right, so the main three things I wanna look at today is distance, feel, and durability. Okay, so we're gonna test between Titleist Pro V1, Vice Pros, and the new Kirkland Signature. All right, the only other thing we haven't done is a long drive. So I wanted to give myself a few holes to warm up here. And uh, I'll hit two of each we'll take the best one and see what gives me the most distance. I also have a new driver, so things could get a little wild here. All right, so that's it. So we hit six, two of each. I missed two of them. Kind of late season form. I pulled two. That's my miss. But we got we got four qualifiers, and they should all be you know pretty pretty close to one another. So Kirkland, Vice, and Titleist is over there. So we might have got a little bit more roll on this side because of this hill, but we're the same really. Like Vice is a slight leader once again, but these are all right where they should be. But that's what it's gonna be for the Kirkland. It's gonna be the, the durability conversation. You know, I'm like however many holes in here and there's already some scuffs, so. That is the great debate. Do you spend, you know, more money, significant amount of more money on a ball that's gonna last you you know, as long as you can hang on to it. Are you spending less money for the same performance, but you're getting less rounds out of it? All right, we're feeling good now. That was three good drives. So short par four, lots of roll. And again, the ground's hard, so. We'll see. Vice is a unique one in this situation, right? If it was just Kirkland versus some of the big boys, you know, in the long game, you know who's gonna win that. A company that specializes in making golf equipment, or a company that specializes in making some of the best hot dogs in the world. Kirkland. First up. Once again, in the lead, where's the Titleist?
Okay, so just to reiterate, by no means am I looking for, like, holy, Kirkland gave me 10 extra yards off the tee, or, you know, Vice was 10 yards less. I'm just looking for consistency. You know, I've played golf for close to 30 years now, and I know how far I should be hitting a golf ball. And so far, all three of these are performing the way that they should. The conversation here is the mojo factor. And this is kind of one of those unmeasurable variables, but there's just something to be said for teeing up like a premium, like urethane golf ball. You know, it kind of feels like slipping on a, a tailored suit or lacing up a new pair of kicks or sitting behind the wheel of a nice car, just the feeling. And that's something that, you know, you can't, can't measure in a lab and stats can't tell you. It's just how good do you feel teeing up and hitting this golf ball? And that's worth a lot. Those were three well-struck balls. So driver off the tee. I play this hole a lot and there's a creek. A creek that runs through like 270 to 290 across the fairway. So I pulled one of them a little bit. I think it was the Kirkland. The Vice and the Titleist were smashed. All right, so here's the creek I was talking about. Kirkland. Kirkland is always a little bit behind, five to 10 yards, especially off the tee. All right, where's our boy Vice and Titleist? I did, I do think I hit the Titleist a little bit harder. There you go, Titleist. Where's our boy Vice? There you have it again, Vice. That was big, that was like, that was legit, like 20 yards past Kirkland, 10 or 15 past Titleist. Okay, three balls, two are in the sand, one's over the green. In the sand. Titleist. Next up is Vice in the sand. And then this little guy, right up against the tarp, is the beat up Kirkland. So value, so this version of the Kirkland Signature, this is all Canadian dollars, works out to $1.25 a ball. The Vice Pro, excluding shipping and any customization, is $2.50 a ball, whereas a Pro V1 is $5.42 a ball. So you saw what they look like, Vice was fine, uh, Pro V1 was obviously fine, but the Kirkland beat up it showed somewhere. To summarize, I think if you're going for feel and value, that would be the main attraction for the, the Kirkland signature. If you want distance and still value, Vice is your go-to by a landslide. And if you want an overall ball and maybe dollar value isn't that much of a concern for you, you obviously can't go wrong with a Pro V1. And they've been the number one ball on tour for you know, over 15 years. And then the other variable with Kirkland is the manufacturing. So we know this is the third version. The first version was great, but they had patent issues with Titleist. The second version I loved, but you can't find those anymore. And now this third version, um, there's durability concerns. So if there's a fourth and a fifth and more coming, it's 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 going to be a different golf ball once again. And you know, they're pretty pretty secretive with the actual manufacturing as far as who makes these. You know, there's some people saying that they're made in the same facility as Snell, 
um, was all the same or similar to cut. So there's, there's lots of different variables there. But until you you put them in your bag and team up team up yourself and play a few rounds with them, you know, it's going to be personal preference. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, we'll do some more reviews down the road here and see who can take down Vice. Thanks.